Chloe. So today I wanted to whip out my Anastasia Beverly Hills and Resi palette for the first time and Reese. I don't really know. You will have seen this in a very, very recent haul, and this is actually my first time playing with it. I am obsessed. I am down. You need this in your life. It has the most beautiful, beautiful warm colors for fall. And if you like really, I just dropped the brush. Um, if you like really warm eyes and warm colors, I highly recommend it. I think it is beautiful and it creates a very, very wide variety of looks. Today I'm going to be showing you kind of a go-to fall eye. So it's a little bit smoky, a little bit hazy. We're doing a little bit of color on the lower lash line that's going to be subtle enough to where those of you who are not huge color lovers can you know get away with it and feel comfortable but those of you that might be um just maybe see a more toned down version of it i'm also going to be showing you my current favorite nude lip i'm using some new gerard cosmetics products i am obsessed it's kind of a very slight ombre makes your lips look a little bit plumper it's so beautiful um, don't forget that you can get all of these at GerardCosmetics.com with the coupon code CurryLowey for 25% off, which is really, really cool. So um, if you want to know a couple of my favorite looks for fall, then just stay tuned. I'm going to first use the color Glisten on a large shader brush, and I'm going to put this on the center of my eyelid, moving in and moving out, but really and truly it's going to stay focused right here on the middle. Taking the shade Vanilla on the exact same brush, I'm going to use this to highlight the inner corner of my eyes. Taking the color Caramel, which is a light warm brown, I'm going to use this on a fluffy brush. And this is going to go into the crease as kind of my starting crease color. And I will also bring it out here into the outer corner. using the color Morocco, which is a slightly darker brown, but it is still super warm. I'm going to use that in the outer V area, bringing it into the crease, and again, just really blending it into the outer V. Then, of course, just take a moment to blend this area. see these warm tones just bring up my eyes it looks so beautiful on basically anyone it's just going to warm up your skin and give you a very cozy fall look like your eyes can do that beauty gurus are so weird now I'm going to take my gel eyeliner this is the essence gel eyeliner I'm using the essence gel eyeliner brush as well I will be using this on my top lash line Then using the black in this palette, I'm going to use this to set off that eyeliner. I'm going to use vanilla one more time to highlight my brow. Using a little pencil brush, I'm going to take the color Deep Plum. This is going to go on the outer corner of my lower lash line, and I'm just going to kind of work that into this outer third. Using a Sedona Lace 904, I'm just going to use a moment to kind of blend this because again, I did not realize how pigmented that this was. If you wanted to strictly stick to the Amrezi palette, you could just use the shade Emerald for this. It's a little bit too jewel toned, too bright green for me. I want something more olive. So I'm going to jump into Too Faced Natural at Night and I'm going to take the color Moonstone and I'm going to use this basically right here to meet in with that deep plum color and I'm going to stop it just shy of the inner corner. And on the very inner corner, I'm going to use Vanilla one more time on a small detail brush, and this is going to bring some light into this look. Vanilla is a fantastic inner corner highlight as well because it is matte, but somehow it just kind of reflects the light and makes everything look just a little bit brighter and more alive, really. Now I can kind of move into everything else. I went ahead and I set off my makeup just using a powder, and now I'm going to go into my NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder in Sunny. I'm going to use this on a Morphe S19 brush, which is just a really large powder brush. I'm going to use this to warm up the skin. 
and kind of um, prepare it for my contour that I'm going to bring in in a minute. So I like to dust this basically on the outer perimeters of my face, up here on the temples, under the cheekbones, down on the jaw. I also like to take a bit of this shade along the sides of my nose. It's not even really to contour, it's just to add some color here, and the fact that it does contour is kind of an added bonus. So I'll just put it right along the sides of my nose, and I'll take a small brush and really blend that out so it's not quite so crazy. Now I can contour using Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and my e.l.f. angled blush brush. I like to place the color down first, wipe off any excess, and then blend. And then, of course, because I do have a pretty round face, I like to take some under the jaw as well. On the cheeks, I'm going to use the color Berry Amore from Milani. As always, I will be taking Max Mineralize Skin Finish and Light Scapade on a Sonia Kashuk stippling brush, and it will go on the high points of my face. So I went ahead and I filled in my eyebrows, then I really quickly used some Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Now I'm going to use my Too Faced Perfect Espresso Eyeliner, which I love so much, it's just the perfect dark brown. for false eyelashes by really quickly curling them. Using the It's So Big mascara, this is from Elizabeth Mott, I'm going to give my eyelashes a quick coat. I'm also going to do some on the lower lashes when I'm done, but for now I'm going to go ahead and apply some Red Cherry number 43 lashes. You can see you could probably just leave it with mascara, but the eyelashes, especially the Red Cherry 43, just kind of add to the shape that we created with the eyeshadow in the first place and it makes it look really, really pretty. I am waiting for the glue on the inner corner of this lash to dry because it will not stay down, but I'm going to go ahead and do lips while I'm waiting. I'm taking the Gerard Cosmetics lipstick in the color Nude, which is literally the perfect nude color. You seriously need this in your life. And I'm going to put this all over the lips. You can see it's the most gorgeous matte nude. Um, it glides on, it's super creamy. That was just one coat and it looks absolutely beautiful. You could leave it like this, but what I like to do, and this is so cool, I'm going to use the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss in Cocoa Bean. This is in the new packaging. It's to die for. And I'm going to put this on the outer corners of my lips. With this, make sure to kind of rub your lips together a lot um, so it blends out really nicely. You can even take a lip brush. I think that blending your lips together like this works just as well. Then I'm going to take the color Shimmer of Hope on the center. It almost gives you this really slight sort of ombre lip um, with the lighter color in the center. It makes your lips look fuller. It's a very beautiful way to wear nude colors. Just make sure with it that you blend a lot. So now I'm going to take my mascara and I'm going to pop some on the lower lashes. So I really hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And until next time, I love you. I will see you very soon in the next video.